What's today? Uh, you don't have to talk into it. Yeah. Oh. You mean I should start the tour? Yeah. Just say what today's date is. <laughs> oh. Okay. The questions get tougher as we go along. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you're going to waste a lot of film here. Today is Tuesday. Um, mm, uh, oh, July. <laughs> the 19th, 1994. That, that's just name everybody in your in mother and father's family. Ben. Well, who are you first? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alan's grandmother. My name is Jeanette Levin. Give a middle name? Give a middle yeah. name? Oh, sure. No, I never had a middle name. Really? I used my maiden name as my middle name. We never got middle names. It wasn't in fashion in those days ah. to get middle names. And when were you born, if I may ask? And I was born in uh, October the 15th, 1905. Now, I remember... In, in Newark, New Jersey. I remember a story you, I think you told me about... Um, when you needed a birth certificate and they couldn't find one? Oh, we had a heck of a time. Didn't they have to look something up in the census records? Uh, they finally, that's what they, they really found. They looked up, somebody was smart enough to look up in the census, and they found that my parents had seven children, and they named, they didn't name the seven children, but they asked my oldest brother, and he told them. They didn't keep records in those days. Not even a birth certificate? Not even a birth certificate. The birth certificate I finally got is a, a copy. So it wasn't until after they did that thing through the census that you were able to get a birth certificate, right? Right. They couldn't even find, they didn't have doctors in those days. My mother had a midwife come in when she was ready to give birth. And I was born, and she left. <laughs> and that's how my mother had her seven children. And, and who are the seven children? Well, my oldest brother is Morris, Helen, Molly, Harry, Max, Jeanette, and Florence. And seven then? children. My parents were met in New York. They were immigrants. From where? From Vienna and uh, fell in love. Their names was, were Eva Schwartz and David Gottfried. So my mother died when we, Florence and I, were very young, mm -hmm. and he brought us up. Where did your mother die from? TB. Mm. And, and how old were you? I think I was 10 and Florence was eight. What's your best memory of your father? My father was a wonderful father. He saw to it that we always had, and my problem was always with shoes. He used to say, my shoes cost as much as the other six children, because I have narrow feet. <laughs> <laughs> and Florence and I were brought up, we were very close. We were not close with the rest of the family, because they went to work as soon as they were 14. They got what we called then working papers in order to, I did that too, when I graduated from elementary school. So that's as far as you went in school? That's right. To what grade? Eighth, and then I went to work. I worked in an, a lingerie, they didn't call it lingerie in those days, <laughs> factory, and in those days the women's underwear had beading, around the neck, and I used to pull the ribbon through the beading. You no, know, in and out like... For how many hours a day? Eight. I think I got two bucks a week. <laughs> <laughs> what was your house like? My house? Yeah. Where I lived? We never had a house. We lived in a flat. What was your flat like with <laughs> seven children? <laughs> and, well, we slept three in a bed. We had two bedrooms. And we had a coal stove in the kitchen that we had to feed, and we cooked on that too. We had no gas and electric. 
Um, what was your favorite game to play? Uh, we used to play hopscotch and kick the can. <laughs> <laughs> we used to get an empty tin can where you would play kickball. We didn't have it. We couldn't buy a ball. We didn't mm -hmm. have any money. So we just picked up an empty can from the trash and we used to play kick the can.